can anyone else say bravo season two of academia my hero academia boku no hero academia i feel as though truly began with this episode episode one and two cool setup hey we're back whatever but this was the first episode best episode of the season thus far first three episodes and just overall like ooh, I, i'm not gonna lie i laughed like hell i cheered like this is how you make a very small event like a festival you know a festival isn't like the most dangerous thing or have a big villain or anything like that but nevertheless you make something like this and this is how you make it really good really interesting and just overall good shit like <laughs> it, it felt as though between having all the just variety of characters and what they were trying to do and how they were trying to get through this obstacle you have that going on but then on top of that you have certain characters using immense strategy and just something just great like honestly just great now a good chunk of the episode we see the two badasses going at it trying to win the race you have Todoroki and you have Bakugo and they're going tooth and nail I'm not gonna lie I was just like this was intense as shit and again it's just the festival thing and there's sometimes where festivals can be very very missed I mean for crying out loud just like the Grand Magic Games when it started off before it got to the fights it was just like what, what what the fuck is this but this right here it really focused in on the characters their individual struggles and their own different things that they're going through now i mean Todoroki for starters one of his things is again his father's watching and of course there's a little bit of mystique to him but you're seeing that okay he's doing this for his particular reason and you got Bakugo that no i'm gonna be number one motherfucker and then when Neku came through that pissed him off even more so you're getting more into Bakugo's character and just this is showcasing a huge demonstration on what's motivating him what's pushing him because i mean throughout the fucking race he's letting all bomb left and right trying to get to number one but honestly it's great to say that the main character himself deku was truly the star was the best written thing about the episode and the way he was handled was just incredible like because it could have easily been another case of well i gotta use my quirk now you know just gotta smash the ground so i can get to first place or whatever but that wasn't the case and that showcases that yes while deku does have somewhat of an advantage to a certain degree having all might's quirk that isn't all there is to him and he's deserving of it he did this entire event using his mind and his abilities not what was passed down to him because he didn't use it once he, he didn't you know hit the ground he didn't knock anyone out or anything like that he straight up used what he had at the very start of this series and that was just his intelligence and i really like that it's making a character that at the end of the day deku yeah he, he's the wimp guy you know he's a scaredy cat and all of that shit but he also demonstrates his his own abilities of using his mind and his brain and it's kind of like you know the the pen is mightier than the sword so to speak and in this case it was truly the case it, it was just insane to see him using the shield and it, it's crazy too how humble he is and i love that about this character like honestly this episode if you wasn't a fan of deku by this point out of season one and then coming into season two maybe you felt it was a bit cliche and it was unfair because he got you know all might's quirk and it's not really his own abilities he did all this by himself strategizing using the shield to get bumped into first place and then on top of that still using the shield like that was all his own wits and abilities it wasn't anything to do with his quirk and i can't stress that enough how awesome and very well written deku was in this episode and you gotta be a believer by now like when he said in the beginning of the season you know okay i understand all might so this is where i gotta say hey i'm here and he did it in the very first challenge. Now, I know there might be some people that are going to say, Oh, well, this is too soon for him to have great feats. First, he beated Bakugo in Season 1 in their little challenge. And then now he defeated him again in this one. But it was done very well, honestly. One of my favorite episodes of My Hero Academia thus far, period. Not only just this season, but it beat out a good chunk of Season 1's episodes. There was obviously a couple episodes like All Might, you know, towards the end of Season 1, whatever. But, like, this episode, one of my favorites. And, again, the best thing I could say is it wasn't just a typical, like, there's a villain there. They got to figure out how to beat him. It was a small challenge at a festival that made things interesting. I, I, I can't believe it. Like, 
<laughs> I'm speechless of how fucking awesome this episode was with just being for a festival. And I and I like that. I, I like that you can make something not have the greatest stakes in the world and still do some cool things. Now, obviously, there was a couple of other characters that was involved in this one. And we had the beginning one because I felt as though the first couple obstacles they had to go through was like, oh, okay, you know, they got to get through the guards and stuff like that. Which, again, Deku didn't use his quirk because he could have easily just mashed through all of them with one fucking punch. But he was like... No, I'm gonna I'm gonna be strategic, and it was really showcasing everybody's abilities. And I felt as though when we had, I think they were the business club or you know the business portion, the people that they handle business because they don't really have anything else going for them. I was like, that was shown and jump editorial staff when they were talking about, well, how do we market him? You know, there's nothing really special in particular. His look doesn't have like that. That's totally the shown and jump editorial staff. Except with the shown and jump editorial staff, they're like, um, yeah, we'll just push all might. Fuck him. Like, <laughs> yeah, it, it was fucking funny again. A lot of laughs in this episode and oh my gosh we just gotta talk real quickly about it we gotta talk about it real quickly Minetta the the, the perm of all perbs the future heir to the throne of perversion taking the fucking mantle from master Roshi and Jiraiya and all the greats before him because at the end of this this motherfucker he was like yeah, you know, I, I do want to pass this, you know, I want to get to the finish line, but, ooh, how can I make it extra spicy? And by the end, he's holding on to Yaoi Orozu with his fucking balls, bro. <laughs> I couldn't get enough of that, that was great. And it was just all around a fucking fantastic episode, was it a 10 out of 10? No. Was it still a fucking amazing episode? Yes, it was. I, I'd argue right now, giving the score off the bat, I want to say maybe between an 8 and a 9. Maybe we do the 8.5 because, again, it was a lot of just a competition, but it was really good build up and set up for these characters, and even the art and animation was great, too. I feel as though if you was thinking about dropping My Hero Academia because the first two episodes maybe might have been slow-paced and a lot of setup, watch this episode before you make up your mind, and then if you're still not impressed, then fair enough, piss off, you have terrible taste. No, I'm just fucking around <laughs> Yeah, this episode just really fucking impressed me. Like, Deku, for a main character, I like that he doesn't necessarily completely break the mold because it still is, you know, triumphant effort, victory, friendship, or whatever. You still have that core element involved, but you also have a little bit of a difference. It's kind of like taking, you know, those hardworking characters like a Rock Lee, for example, and then mixing and matching. Like, okay, he does have this ability, but he doesn't want to completely rely on this really cool ability that he has. He's using his wits. He's using what he has and what he started with to bring him to the top and when you see his mother crying and everything I'm like I feel you I feel you and let's quickly talk about the placing of you know where everybody was at of course Deku number one and then you had Todoroki number two and Bakugo number three you know that hurts him even more in the Kokoro when not only does Deku the little shit stain that you know he's made fun of and bullied came in number one but then another motherfucker went past him too with Todoroki which Kind of makes sense you think in that element is like okay Bakugo's letting off the bombs essentially kind of flying in a way but Todoroki has ice powers and I'm sure that helped immensely to slow him down so you got to think as well that's going to factor into how much harder and possibly how much meaner Bakugo is going to be going through this entire exam because now he got something to prove now he got something that's pissing him off and eating at him because this is two wins Deku has over him. Deku beat him in the initial little exam thing that, you know, Eraserhead had going on. And then now, again, at the festival in front of many, many people, it's like Bakugo is going to come back with a vengeance and a half against Deku, against Todoroki, and for the win in this exam in general. And then the ending. <laughs> the ending. I would have felt the same way as Deku when, um... Okay, so because I tried hard, essentially I'm becoming the number one target and everybody's gonna come after me. Like, I thought Bakugo shit himself already when he fucking said, yeah, I'm gonna be number one. No, 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 no. That, that, that was nothing compared to actually coming in first place in the first portion of this festival exam, whatever. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> when he's just there, like, because everybody's gonna come at him now. Now, whoever he's teamed up with, depending on, you know, how they're gonna rank people with the points and whatnot. He's going to have a big problem and his team is going to have a big problem. So whoever he's teamed up with, they're going to be like, yeah, we have the first place number one guy with us. But holy shit, everyone's going to come after us. This is bad. This is bad news right now. So major target. He just made himself by trying hard and succeeding in something. Now he's a big target. And again, with all that being said, fantastic episode. I want to say again, eight and a half out of 
of 10. I loved it. Really curious what you guys think for starters. How do you feel about the results of the festival with Deku coming in number one and everything that he did to achieve it? Do you feel as though maybe you feel he did get lucky because if it wasn't for that piece of, you know, shield from the machine that Todoroki fucked up, then Deku wouldn't have been able to do all that he did? Or do you feel as though it's just great and a breath of fresh air for, you know, Shonen character and not just like, oh, I'm using crazy superpowers to get to the top. It's using strategy and skill and that also takes some good writing to be honest with you to pull it off without it looking cheesy without it looking like oh that, that that's just so much bullshit like it takes some skill and the creator of my hero academia did a fantastic job and you know studio bones as well with the art and animation and the music and everything they're they're banging this out the park i feel as though I, I'm, I'm getting good vibes with season two and what it could do also for my hero academia's popularity because if we get more intense hype and very well written episodes like this one, episode 3 of season 2, ran for some fucking really good shit and a huge boost in Academia's popularity. And your overall thoughts of the episode, were you disappointed? Maybe you wanted Bakugo to come out number 1, maybe you wanted Todoroki to take, you know, the spot, or you, you loved it. You loved that Deku just did everything and that shows that hard work and it doesn't always take having the coolest ability in the world or using your abilities for that matter to succeed on and come out on top. But that's all I have for this one, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, Drop me a like, I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and stalk my Facebook to get more when the video ends. I'm Fanel World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.